there's a big difference between being not racist and being anti-racist. I know it doesn't seem like it. I know that both of these things seem equally good, but they're not. Think of an interaction. Uh, I'm afraid you've probably had one, right? With, with somebody, maybe even somebody you respect, maybe even someone you love, who says something that's racist, does something that's racist, behaves in a way that's racist. Someone who's not racist, they won't say or do anything in that moment. They want to not rock the boat. They don't want to be upstanding. Instead, not racist, they tend to be bystanders. But afterwards, after the event, they'll find other people who are also not racist, and they'll talk to each other about, oh, that was terrible, that thing that happened the other day. I would never say anything like that. Anti-racists are different, and they come in all shapes and sizes. They come in all ages. Anti-racists are constantly looking around to say, what tools do I have available to make it clear that this is not acceptable? And this, this is what anti-racists do. It's not that they stand up at the dinner table when their uncle's a little bit racist and kick the turkey off. That's not it. But what they do do is they say, I'm sorry, Uncle John, that's not acceptable. That's racist. Quietly and respectfully. What they do is make sure that they never miss an opportunity to let the world know where they stand, even if they can't change everything. You're probably in a position where other people have a lot more power around you. I know how that feels. Sometimes we sit and we look around us and we think, how can I possibly change all this? And sometimes you can't. But what you can do is make sure wherever you go, people know where you stand. They know that you're an anti-racist. You become a beacon of light that way. You become someone who makes other people want to be anti-racist too. You've got tools at your disposal. Learn, read, and make everybody clear where you stand.